In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to add your own enclosures to your SkyCAD catalog, as well as how to define layouts for them. Adding enclosures to your catalog is done in a very similar way to how you would do it for any other component, such as contactors or push buttons. If you haven't done so already, we recommend watching the Assigning Part Numbers and Managing Cabinets tutorials. Here I have an example project. Let's select the project in the tree view, click on the Show tab, and select Locations. Here we have Panel 1. This is essentially the enclosure for our project. If I expand the properties, we can see the part number and manufacturer. As with any other component, we can assign a part number from the catalog by selecting the item, clicking on the Home tab, and selecting Assign from Catalog. Let's click on the Show tab and select Sublocations. We can see that this enclosure or location has two sublocations a door and a backplate. If we select the door and select Show Layout, we can see the layout for it, which is what we are seeing right now in the View tab area. We can also see the layout for the backplate. We can even see the layout for the enclosure as a whole. The door layout and the backplate layout is where you'll be doing your assembly. The method I showed you for displaying each and every layout is a bit time consuming and a little messy. There is a quick, clean way to show all the layouts for a project. By selecting the project, clicking on the Show tab, and selecting Location Layouts. We can now see all the layouts for a project in the tree view. Now that you know what to expect, let me show you how to add your own enclosures to your SkyCAD catalog and define layouts for them. Let's close this example project and use a different project, for which the enclosure has not been defined yet. Let's show the locations of this project. We do have a location defined, but if we expand the properties of this location, you'll notice that the part number and manufacturer are blank. This means that although we have a location, we do not have the enclosure itself defined yet. So let's enter the details of the new enclosure we want to use. To add sublocations such as a door and a backplate, select the enclosure, click on the Create Add tab, and select New Location. Let's add two of them, one for the door and one for the backplate. Then rename them accordingly. If you wish, you can define part numbers for these sublocations too or assign part numbers from the catalog. In this case, I won't do that because I know this enclosure part number includes the door and the backplate. So I'll be sure to check the virtual part properties so that these parts do not show in the parts list and bill of material. They will be considered part of the enclosure part number. We could save this enclosure as it is to our catalog, but we haven't defined the layouts yet. Let's do that before saving it to the catalog. Let's start by creating a layout for our backplate. Select the backplate, click on the Create Add tab, and select New Layout Block. A layout for the backplate is created and opened in the View tab area. Let's expand the properties and enter the dimensions for the backplate width and height. The box that you see in the view tab area is not the backplate itself, it's just a representation of the overall dimensions. To define a layout, we do this in the same way we would for defining a layout 
or any other component. We can either draw our backplate using the drawing tools, or we can insert an image of the backplate from our computer, with the exception of activating the background view by clicking on the Layout Tools tab and selecting Activate Background View. Let me explain a bit more about the different views available. Background view, main view, and drill hole pattern view. These views are similar to layers, but for specific purposes. The main view is where all the laying out of components, DIN rails, and wiring ducts takes place. This will be the view that is most often worked with. The drill hole pattern view is where cutouts and drill hole dimensions are shown. More about this view is covered in a separate tutorial. The background view is used specifically for location layouts, which is what we are doing now. Whatever we insert in the background view will not be in the way when working in the main view. Let's insert our backplate layout image onto the background view. If I activate the main view once again, I cannot move or select the backplate because the image is in the background view. This is handy because you don't want to accidentally move your backplate when trying to insert components and DIN rail onto your panel layout. Now that our backplate layout is complete, let's create a layout for the door in the same way. Select the door, click on the Create Add tab and select New Layout Block. Activate the background view, enter the dimensions, and use the drawing tools or add an image from your computer. And there's our door layout. At this point, we could consider our enclosure complete and save it to our catalog. But if you want to be more specific, you could go a step further and create a layout for the enclosure itself and show the backplate layout inside the panel layout. This can be handy if your backplate is smaller than your enclosure or if you have multiple backplates in your enclosure. Let's create a layout for this enclosure. You may have noticed the door and backplate disappear from the tree view. This is to highlight the layout that we just created. If you want to view the door and backplate in the tree view again, select the enclosure, click on the Show tab, and select Sublocations. I'll hold the Control key to show the sublocations in addition to the enclosure layout. I don't want to see this now though, so I'll deselect it. Now back to our enclosure layout. Expand the properties and enter the dimensions for the enclosure. At this point in time, I don't need to add any fine details. I just want to lay out the backplate inside the enclosure. To do this, go to the Layout Tools tab, then select Layout Element. We want the backplate layout. This will be what the backplate looks like when mounted inside the enclosure. Now that our enclosure with all its layouts have been defined, we can save this to our catalog. Select the location, click on the Home tab, and select Save. Save to catalog. Now we can use this enclosure with its layouts on any future project.